What's going on Muscle Monsters? Alain Gonzalez here and today I just got a quick video for you guys. Today I want to talk about two tips, two things you should be doing if you're in a fat loss phase and you're not seeing changes. Alright, uh, what happens a lot of the time is that your body or your metabolism starts to adapt pretty quickly. So two things that you want to do in order to jumpstart that metabolism and get you burning fat again. Number one, and this is the first step you should take, uh, after you get fairly lean or fairly lower carbs than what you started at, uh, throw in a refeed day where you decrease your proteins and decrease your fats and up your carbohydrate intake. What that's going to do is replenish glycogen, help you keep your sanity, uh, help you maintain your strength, and help you uh, avoid that metabolic adaptation to the lower carbs. Um, at a point in your cut, you might even want to throw two refeed days per week. Now, if you've already been doing this and you're noticing that you're plateauing, then one thing I would uh, suggest, and this is not for somebody who's been cutting for about four to six weeks, I'm talking, you know, 10 to 16 weeks. Uh, what you want to go ahead and do is take a whole week where you stop calculating your nutrition and just eat however you feel. Um, and what's going to happen nine times out of 10 is that once you're done with that week, you'll notice that your weight had actually, will actually drop. This is something I did when we went on vacation for a week. I didn't track any macronutrients. And when I got back, despite eating whatever I wanted, as much of it, I actually dropped weight. All right? So those are two tips, two things you should be doing if you're not noticing fat loss. If you are looking for a straightforward fat loss program, 21 day fast abs, totally free. I'll put a link in the description of that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.